What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get sub 50 on 4x4. Now before I watch this video, I just want to say that things are a bit advanced here so uh, I would not recommend watching this video if you average 15 or more seconds in 3x3. I recommend you to be at least sub 15 in 3x3 because when learning how to be faster at 4x4, learning how to be sub 50, things are a bit advanced here. And uh, whatever you average on 3x3 three three, uh, depends on how much you will average on 4x4. Four four. So with that out of the way, let's start with the first tip I'm going to give you. So for your first two centers, I recommend you to uh, solve the center that is closest to being solved. So in this case, uh, it's pretty hard to tell. But I think white is close to being solved because I can easily create a bar by just doing a white at a time. Then I see this and this. I'll do something like a white R2, I mean a, an R2, then a white E2, then attach these two bars. Now I'll just solve the yellow center. And that solves both two centers. Now for this one. I see that a yellow bar is solved, so I can do yellow first. That, so I see these two diagonal centers. I can create a bar by doing a white R, U prime, white R prime, then attach these two. Now I can create a bar with these two, and these two, then attach these two, and that solves both centers. So the main concept of this is to uh, uh, pick the center that is closer to being solved for your first two centers. Now for three cross edges, I recommend you to find an edge pair that has already been solved. And the edge pair needs to have either one of your first two opposite center colors. So uh, I have a yellow red, which means I can start with yellow first. And I can uh, use yellow as my cross for solving a 4x4. Four four. So I'll do something like an F prime U. And uh, for the first three edges, it's pretty hard because all the edges are scattered around. So it makes look ahead even more harder. Now I recommend you to like track a few pieces at a time. And I recommend you to go really slow because when you go really fast, you pause a lot. But when you go slow, uh, it helps you track other pieces really easily. So I see these two edges. What I can do is do something like a U. Then I'll do something like this. And I'm tracking these two. Then insert it. And I see that this one is right here. So I can just turn it out to bring this up. Then do a U prime. Then bring it down. Then just connect it here. Now if you can't find an edge pair that has already been solved, uh, if you can't find one, then I recommend you to build an edge pair that is close to being solved. So I see the orange white and the orange white, which means I'll start with the white. So I can pair these two edges. And that actually creates a white blue, so I'll track that. And I'll just move it down there. And I'm actually tracking this red white here. And I see that this red white goes here. Now, if I do something like a D prime to connect these, and I do like a white R, it can actually break up these two edges. So, what I could do is do like an L, then connect these. And you really need to avoid breaking up your three cross edges when uh, creating new edges for your. Uh, cross. Now for your last four centers, look around the cube immediately and try to find a bar you can start off with. If you can't find one, create one that is close to being solved. So in this case, I see this green uh, bar. So that means I can start off with the green center. And I see these two centers can make a bar. And I can attach it here. So I can do something like this. Now for the orange, I can either start off with the orange or the red. I'll just start off with the orange. 
So to create a bar with these two, I can do something like this. Now I can create a bar with these two. So I'll have to move these three layers up because I, I want to avoid breaking one of these. Now I'll create the bar. Then move these layers down and attach these two. Now for your last two centers, just solve the last two centers like how you normally would or uh, Yao. So these two. And that solves all centers. Now for your last cross edge, you can either solve the last one horizontally or vertically. I'd like to solve it vertically. So I see this edge needs to come here. So I will slice, then I'll bring this edge here, slice back, and then just insert it. Now if you were wa want to do it horizontally, I can't. you can just pair up these two edges, but that breaks up the centers, but you can fix them later. Then just put it here. For the last eight edges, just try looking around the cube and trying to find the first edge you're going to pair. So in this case, I'll pair the blue-red first. So I'll just slice, then I'll put this here. And I immediately see these two. And since I have the yellow-green, I have to track this one. Let's put it here, slice back. And I can just do the blue orange slice, and I look. For, and before slicing, I can actually look for the yellow red. So it's here. I can just insert it, slice back, and I see these three edges left. So I can do the green red first, slice, then just put this here, doing a sledgehammer, and slice back. And for 3x3 stage, you just have to do 3x3 stage as fast as you can. Or you could just uh, do slow turning to look ahead. Then you just do OLPLE, PLLPLE, or both, and then you're done. Now, when, uh, now if you know that you're going to get an OLPLE, don't pause after you finish your fourth pair. So, uh, after you do your fourth pair, you're just going to go straight into OLPLE. Then just uh, solve the case. And for PLPLD, it's the same. So, uh, for example, if I solve this, I know that I'm going to get PLPLD, so I'll just uh, go straight into it. Then just solve this. Now, just for some extra tips, I recommend you to improve your hardware. So. Do not get something like a Shang Shao 4x4 or a Yushin Black Kieran 4x4 because those 4x4s are really bad. Now for a good 4x4s, I recommend you to get like a Wu Tui or a uh, Mui Aosu GTS 2M. Or if you're on a budget, then a Yushin Little Magic 4x4M. It's a really good 4x4. It has good turning, good corner cutting. After bringing it, breaking it in with Marlou, it's fantastic. And I dropped my average a lot. Now another tip I'll give you is to watch my video over and over again. So I've given you the tips and I recommend you to watch them again and again till you've gotten used to them. Now, the last tip I'm going to give you is to, like, um, time yourself on the different steps of the Yao method. So, time yourself on your first two centers, time yourself on your first three edges, etc, etc. Because that can improve how fast you are on each of those steps, and that can actually reduce your time. So, that is it for my video on how to get sub-50 on 4x4. Hope these tips were helpful for you. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.